Mr. President, it's great to see you again. Thank you Good for doing this. Good to see this. you. So that was one hell of a speech you gave Thursday night. I'm going to touch on three specific areas there. The first one being, you know, I noticed the look of surprise on your face when you walked into the chamber and you saw Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, it was priceless. You feigned shock at, at seeing her. But during your response to her heckling of you, you used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used the legal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look, when I spoke about the difference between Trump and me, one of the things I talked about on the border was that his the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not going to do, what I won't do. I'm not going to treat any 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 of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our economy is growing, we have to control the border and a more orderly flow. But I, I don't share his view at all. So you, you regret using that word? Yes. Um, what was it like for you to see Republicans not cheer your tough words for Vladimir Putin or for defending democracy or any of the other things Republicans used to stand for? Well, I think some of them still do stand for it, but they're pretty much intimidated by Trump right now. I mean, the idea that, look, I'm talking to you, I'm down here talking to these folks who are starting businesses, getting endorsed by minority businesses. He's up with Marjorie Taylor Greene in North Georgia. Yesterday, he spends the time at his mansion with uh, at his resort with Orban. He talks about his great respect for, you know, the president of North Korea. I mean, he praises Putin. I mean, it's, it's a different world. Was that a mistake on, on Trump's part? to host Orban. I mean, he is a member of NATO. He's a member of NATO, but he says he doesn't believe in democracy. I mean, look, the guys I host, the people I'm with, are people who, in fact, in NATO have great respect for one another. And uh, But uh, look, when you have a president who, in the midst of the carnage going on as a consequence of Russian attack on Ukraine and talks about Come in, Putin, if, you, if these guys haven't paid their dues, you, you just do what you need in NATO. I mean, NATO, he, he talked about getting out of NATO. I mean, it's a critical to our national defense. We made a commitment after World War II to never let it happen again. Look what he's doing. He's dangerous.